Well, I think it's pretty simple, to be honest. Um, it all starts from fresh. So what's happened the previous 14 rounds, notwithstanding the last four, is really irrelevant. You know, we know ourselves we haven't been at our best the last four. We know we've done some things pretty well in those games and we haven't been so good in others. And a lot of those are pretty glaringly obvious. But the, the challenge for us is the next week is making sure we're very focused. You know, we knockout cricket is not about um, being consistent and level, it's about um, having matchups and challenging your opposition and winning on that day. So we'll be very well planned for that and we won't be uh, dragged down by the last week. Um, we'll be excited by the week ahead. The hard thing about T20 is that a lot of it happens on the day and it can happen really quickly too. It can be a two or three over swing in the match and um, you can be playing really good cricket and then on a, any given day anyone can come out and take the game away from you. So whilst it's nice to come in on the back of good form, players know they have to start again. So what's happened in the previous game becomes irrelevant. The conditions can be different, the game situation can be different, the matchups can be completely different. So I think like anything, we always try and uh, start from scratch and, and put the last game behind us. So in a way, it's probably positive for us given that, you know, we've dropped a few games leading into this um, playoff game. Look, they've been good for T20 cricket. I think everyone's been in the game. I think but certainly there's been a little bit there for the quicks with the new ball. I think we've seen the spinners as usual enjoy um, the slower surfaces at times. Uh, there probably hasn't been as much spin as we expected, but you never know at the back end of the tournament if they do start to, to slow up a bit, it'll bring the spinners into the game more, pace off the ball. And obviously a lot of the batsmen have enjoyed batting in these conditions. I think the heat has certainly played a part in terms of obviously fatiguing guys that have batted for any length of time. But we seem to have coped pretty well with those and are now excited by uh, the business end of the season. Yeah, I think when you've got 30, 40, potentially 50 people at times, including the, the away from the the game staff, that, that creates its challenges. Um, and when you have three months, you know, there, there's always little bits of tweaking here and there. There's always players or support staff that are going through, you know, challenging times at home. But I think the guys all in all have responded exceedingly well. I think we've been really fortunate to have this room as a breakout room for everyone to come and, and enjoy each other's company and then go back to your room and chill out. You know, I think RCB's done really well to, you know, get ourselves a beach, just some, enough open space where you feel like you're, you're as normal as you can be in this bio bubble. But yeah, I think whenever you have a group together for a long period of time, they're always small challenges and we're lucky we've got a group of good people who, who look and look after each other when they do go through those tough times. The hardest hardest job is obviously the players, they're under the hugest pressure having to perform and, and obviously meet expectations so I think our job's obviously slightly different to theirs, we don't have that same burden on us in terms of the, the pressure and anxiety around performance but we certainly have a fair bit to get through uh, particularly when you've got a short space of time in between games at certain times to prepare for the next game and then obviously the road trips and late finishes and things like that um, but I think we've seemed to manage pretty well in, in terms of getting the boys prepared we had you know great leading with three weeks prior to the tournament starting so it felt like the guys were as well prepared as they possibly could be and that's probably helped you know in terms of getting off to a pretty good start and the, the tournament. Now we've obviously got to be able to sustain it and play our best cricket at the back end of the tournament so hopefully that'll it'll come in handy for us. Look I think firstly um, the emotional side I think we're both um, ducks underwater you know where there's a lot going on underneath and, and part of our job is to to have that stable platform um, you know we don't believe the, the players go through so many highs and lows when they're playing um, you know what they need to see from the sideline is that we're nice and calm and clear but yeah without doubt you know afterwards you know we want to be here during the playoffs we want to be able to give ourselves a chance um, at the back end of the tournament and we've been able to do that and whether we won the last five games to make the finals or we lost the last four really is irrelevant the fact we're in the race at the end is is what we're all here for there's four good teams that have headed home and thankfully we've given ourselves a chance definitely in the last four games in particular uh, we haven't got enough runs on the board uh, and that's that's been clear in all the games particularly when we batted first uh, and that's if you differentiate the start of the tournament to the back end there were a number of games where we did get big scores on the board and, and what were par or above par scores on certain wickets which gave our bowlers a, a great chance of being able to defend and put a lot of pressure on the opposition and that happened right throughout the tournament and then these last four games there's no doubt we've underclubbed with the bat uh, which has put a lot of pressure on our bowling group to try and get us back in the 
game, but unfortunately when you don't have enough runs to play with, it makes it hard for the bowlers. Well, I think that we've got some key um, traits and um, targets that we set as a team, and I think that whenever we reach those, uh, we're highly competitive with any team in the competition. So it's not about um, ever about reinventing the wheel. It's, it's always going back to what's done, what served us well, what are the, some of the key attributes we've done to get ourselves ahead of the game and be able to apply pressure to our opposition, and let's get back to that. I think, as I said, knockout game's the right time to do it. You know, you've got key guys that if we can start applying pressure to our opposition, we can therefore, uh, it relieves pressure on us. And, you know, that, that's when we're at our best. So it's all or nothing, really. And I think that's uh, what you want. You want to be in these playoff games as a player, as a coach, um, you know, as support staff, as fans. You want to be there at the business end of the season. And uh, we've given ourselves a chance. So, uh, yeah, can't wait. Well,